Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received the credentials of 13 new ambassadors accredited to the Kingdom of Bahrain during a ceremony held at Sakir Palace. His Majesty the King received the credentials of the Ambassador of Georgia, Fakatang Joshvili, the Ambassador of Laos, Siongje Nonvanchi, the Ambassador of Vietnam, Vinh Viet Dong, the Ambassador of the United Mexican States, Annabel Gomez Toledo, the Ambassador of Finland, Marianne Zilla, the Ambassador of Singapore, Wong Chai Ming, the Ambassador of Mauritius, Shakatali Suton, the Ambassador of Mauritania, Sidiali Sidiali, the Ambassador of the European Union, Patrick Simone, the Ambassador of Holland, Lawrence Westhoff, the Ambassador of the Maldives, Mohamed Khalil, the Ambassador of Brazil, Francisco Moro Brizade, and the Ambassador of Cambodia, Hun Han. سفير جمهورية لاو الديمقراطية الشعبية سفير جمهورية فيتنام الاشتراكية سفير الولايات المتحدة المكسيكية سفيرة جمهورية فنلندا سفير جمهورية سنغافورة سفير جمهورية موريشوس سفير الجمهورية الإسلامية الموراتانية سفير الاتحاد الأوروبي سفير مملكة هولندا سفير جمهورية المالديف سفير جمهورية البرازيل الاتحادية
سفير مملكة كمبوديا أصحاب السعادة نرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب كسفراء معتمدين لدى مملكة البحرين التي تعتز بعلاقاتها المتميزة مع دولكم الموقرة ونتمنى لكم بهذه المناسبة فترة عمل مثمرة مليئة بالإنجاز حيث سنحرص خلالها على تقديم كافة أوجه الدعم والمساندة لتحقيق ما نرجوه معا من تقارب وتعاون مشترك كما أوصيكم جميعا بنقل تحياتي الشخصية إلى أصحاب الجلالة والفخامة الذين نكن لهم كل تقدير ومودة ومحبة وختاما نتمنى لكم المزيد من التوفيق في مهامكم ودوام الصحة والعافية وبزوال سريع للجائحة عن العالم بأسرة بإذن الله تعالى وشكرا أصحاب الساعة شكرا Thank you. Thank you. The ceremony was attended by the Deputy Prime Minister, the personal representative of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, the Royal Court Minister and the Chief of Royal Protocols. The new ambassadors had arrived at Secure Palace where they were, were received by the Chief of Royal Protocols. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakir Palace student Ritaj Ibrahim Al Abbasi and her mother Khalid Showeta on the occasion of Ritaj's election as the Arab Child Parliament Speaker in its second session. Congratulated her and affirmed that this achievement is a source of pride for the kingdom and its people. He praised her achievement, which reflects the talents and capabilities of Bahrainis in various fields, locally and internationally. 
His Majesty wished Ritesh al Abbasi further success and expressed his pride in the capabilities of the youth and affirmed his keenness to support them in order to make further achievements for Bahrain and its people and enhance the status of the kingdom globally. Ritesh al Abbasi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support of the Bahraini youth that allowed them to make numerous accomplishments in many events. She also expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his unlimited support. She also praised the reform project of His Majesty the King and its role in enhancing nationalism, loyalty and competitiveness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 41 for the year 2021, appointing Yasir Hamid Abdul Rida Abdullal as the Director of the Economic Planning Directorate at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 42 of this year, appointing Mazoun Abdulaziz Al Majid as the Director of Human and Financial Resources Directorate at the National Bureau for Revenue. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Minister of Education, Dr Majid Al Nuemi, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Moayed, in the presence of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Highness discussed with the ministers means of empowering the youth and bolstering cooperation between the two ministries to enhance integration in order to implement numerous programmes aimed at creating a foundation of youths capable of representing the kingdom in international events. His Highness affirmed the role of the two ministries in expanding the activities provided to students which help enrich their output. He emphasised the impact of programmes targeting the youth in instilling national values adding that they help discover new talents at early stages, which in turn allow specialists to optimally employ their capabilities. For his part, the Minister of Education expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his support and efforts, while the Minister of Youth and Sports hailed the interest of His Highness in developing the youth and sports sector in the Kingdom. Royal Guard Special Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the British Naval Support Facility at Mina Salman and was received by the Maritime Component Commander, Commodore Edward Algren, and Commander of the Military Base, Lieutenant Colonel Agari Witte. His Highness toured the various sections of the facility in addition to a tour of HMS Montrose ship led by Captain Paul Oven, during which His Highness was briefed on its advanced systems, modern equipment and advanced technologies. His Highness also witnessed a presentation of military exercises conducted by the British Royal Marines. He praised the depth and strength of the Bahraini-British relations, the historical friendship and strategic cooperation, praising the two countries' keenness to develop these relations in various fields, especially the military field.
The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Bahrain Council for Martial Arts, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the President of the Bahrain Sports Federation, Isa Al Rafai, and the President of the Bahrain Bowling Federation, Agazi Nas. The meeting was attended by the Deputy President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Asko, President of the Bahrain Judo Federation, Faisal Kanu, President of the Bahrain Jiu Jitsu Federation, Oretta Manfadi, President of the Bahrain Taekwondo Federation, Abdullah Al Doi, President of the Bahrain Karate Federation, Faraz Al Ghazabi, President of the Bahrain Boxing Federation, Yusuf Al Koheji, and President of Bahrain Wrestling Federation, Abada Al Mullah, the President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Mohammed Gambar, the President of Bahrain Sambo Federation, Mohammed Janahi, and the President of the Bahrain Kickboxing Federation, Ahmed Al Wazan. The meeting comes in line with His Highness's keenness on supporting sports federations to further develop the performance of national players. His Highness welcomes the attendees, affirming the role of the federations and associations in achieving the aspirations and goals of its affiliates. He reviewed the future programmes and plans of the federations, affirming the importance of intensifying efforts and establishing strong national teams. For their part, the guests expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, hailing His Highness's efforts for the development of sports movement in the Kingdom. The Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Projects Engineer Rita al Adraj revealed that the completion rates for the project to implement 303 housing units in Salman City have reached 45%. He indicated that it is hoped that the implementation of the project will be completed and the units will be delivered to the beneficiaries during the first half of next year, 2022. al Adraj said that the design and implementation of these units were carried out according to a developed housing model and a modern design noting that these units have been fully allocated to the requests on the waiting lists according to seniority, both in the Northern Governorate and other governorates. He stressed the Ministry's keenness to speed up the delivery of the project to the beneficiaries according to the time plan allocated. The Assistant Undersecretary indicated that the largest part of the project is located on a waterfront and that most units have a wonderful view of the sea, as well as gardens, green spaces and roads designated for cycling and walking. The Civil Aviation Affairs, the CAA, has updated the Kingdom's travel entry procedures at Bahrain International Airport in line with directives issued by the Government Executive Committee in response to recommendations made by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. Starting from Sunday the 29th of August 2021, vaccination certificates issued by countries whose citizens are eligible for a visa on arrival will be accepted upon entry. All previous procedures will continue to be followed However, an additional PCR test will be required on the fifth day of the stay. Passengers arriving from red list countries, including passengers who have transited those countries at any point in the last 14 days, are prohibited from entry unless they are a citizen or resident of Bahrain. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,136,983 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,079,950 had taken the second, and 244,985 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 934, with 120 recoveries and 88 registered new cases. 26 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 45 are contacts of active cases and 17 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.